What's up guys, welcome to Filament TV Weekly, the weekly Filament TV show giving you all the top news and views that you need to know. Marvel fans everywhere have been punished this week with the news that Netflix has cancelled The Punisher and Jessica Jones. The upcoming third season of Jessica Jones will be its last. This article is from Deadline's Mike Sorrentino. It should be noted that the head of Marvel TV, Jeff Loeb, has hinted that there might be a future for some of these Marvel Netflix shows somewhere. Perhaps Hulu. Regardless, this is really upsetting and bad news for Marvel TV fans. The Punisher, really good show. Jessica Jones, not bad at all. They do not deserve to be cancelled, but it's happened. Skull and Bones is getting a TV show. What's Skull and Bones, you might ask? Well, Skull and Bones is a video game about pirates. Still never heard of it? Well, you kind of have to be a big gamer to have heard of Skull and Bones. Why? Because this game doesn't exist yet. It hasn't been released yet. It's meant to be coming out this year sometime, but we don't really know. And we don't know much about the game itself either. Based on the upcoming video game, the TV version of Skull and Bones will be a female-led pirate show set in the lawless Indian Ocean during the end of the Golden Age of Piracy in the 1700s. This is according to Patrick Shanley at The Hollywood Reporter. So the show actually sounds like it could be pretty cool and interesting. The problem is that the game doesn't exist yet, we don't know if the game's good, we don't know if the game's going to be all that interesting, it certainly doesn't look that interesting from what we've seen so far, which is very little. What this all means is that Ubisoft, the developers of the game, really see some potential in it. So maybe they're seeing something we haven't, and I tr kind of expect that is the case. Boo! I hope you like being scared by things you've seen before because Scream and Hellraiser might be getting the reboot treatment. Based on a Cinema Blend interview, Jason Blum and Blumhouse are reportedly thinking of rebooting Hellraiser and Scream. This article is from The Hollywood Reporters. Kimba Myers. Based on the success of recent horror films like It and Get Out, this makes perfect sense. However, I've got to be honest, I've never seen Hellraiser and I've never seen a Scream movie. So I'm probably the wrong person to ask. Do people want to see these rebooted? Do they want to see more Scream and Hellraiser films? Leave them in the comments below if you're interested in that. This week we've got a new trailer for Rocket Man, the film based on Elton John's life. The film looks quite good, I've got to be honest. My one concern about Rocket Man is that it looks like it could be a pretty generic, straightforward biopic. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we have been getting a lot of those in recent years. Considering one of Elton John's key features and aspects was to stand out from the crowd and be unique and interesting, this trailer has failed to demonstrate if the film is going to be capturing that essence at all. I hope you've been eating your vitamins and saying your prayers, brother, because Hulkamania is going to run wild on Netflix. That's right, the Hulkster's getting his very own biopic. Yeah, brother. That's right, Netflix is making a Hulk Hogan biopic focusing on the earlier days of Hulk Hogan. The film will be directed by Todd Phillips and it'll star Chris Hemsworth. This is from Boris Kitt at The Hollywood Reporter. I'm fine with the idea of the film, my one concern is that Chris Hemsworth has been cast as Hulk Hogan. Yeah, the performance will probably be fine, I like Chris Hemsworth, but he's big, he's blonde, he's muscular, that's kind of where the resemblance ends, he doesn't look like Hulk Hogan at all really. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. We got a new trailer this week for the new iteration of the Twilight Zone, hosted and produced by Jordan Peele. It's saying something when the trailer comes out that I've got no interest in whatsoever, and all of a sudden, this has become one of my most anticipated shows of the year. It looks damn good. Well, that's all I've got for this week. It's been a very slow news week, actually. Next week, I'll be back with my Oscar reactions. And, of course, later this week, I'll be posting a review of The Umbrella Academy Season 1. So check that out when it airs. In the meantime, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, like this video, share it across social media, let your friends know about it, because if you don't like it, they might. And in the meantime, leave your comments and feedback down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well at the underscore Grant Burton. But any sort of support would really, really be appreciated. But until next time, thanks for watching.